You've brought up a couple of times now the biohacking part. So going into the health set, let's talk about that. What are you doing? Um, you've got fasting, you've got the obviously the exercise, you've got sounds like the massage, two massage protocol. Um, walk us through what you do to care for yourself to make sure that you hit that 177 number, which I like. It's, it's very far and it's right. very specific. So. Right. Um, so yeah, fasting. A lot of writing the book, I was in fasted state. And for me, it, the way it looks Are you like, doing intermittent fasting? Yes. Uh, but I want to get to 36 hours and then I want to go beyond that. Because a lot of the great creatives and mystics. So for me, it's um, my last meal might be at 9 o'clock, but I won't eat until 4 o'clock, let's say, the next day. When I was writing, a lot of the book was written in Rome. I would get up and have two cups of coffee because coffee is a health drink. Awesome antioxidant. Magnificent cognitive enhancer mm. and plus i'm in italy you know drink <laughs> coffee um and then i just you know i'm at a hotel that allowed me to have a tight bubble of total focus so zero distraction and then i go into that flow state and i would just work on the manuscript in fasted state and i saved a lot on grocery and food bills just imagine it you know how much time how much time we spend even eating yep and i'd actually so and then it would be like three or four o'clock I'd be in flow, I didn't even know where the time went. And then I'd ask, you know, call the hotel, the front desk, can you clean my room? I'd go out to the streets and I'd reground and have something to eat. So basically it would be at least 18 hours without food and then I'd have the, the window of eating uh, where I'd you know, eat healthily. I'm on a Mediterranean ketogenic diet and that's how I do the fasting and nutrition. I just, I know by my energy level and by my mental focus when I'm in ketosis, um, rest, there, like I said, there's a whole chapter in the book on the essentialness of sleep. And, and the, the key piece is this, a lot of business builders, a lot of creative performers, a lot of great, a lot of athletes think that it's work harder to achieve more. Well, that's been debunked by science. We all know that we are at our best creatively, productively, and in terms of our performance when we experience intense bursts of elite performance and then we make the time to recover. I had a person at one of my events recently, he worked with Usain Bolt and he said, Usain Bolt told him, I sleep 50% of the time wow. to allow the training to take effect. Mm. So. I, I run these cycles of intense creativity and productivity, and I've learned to really rest. I take naps. I've done it since I was 18. And recovery is very important in terms of meditation, visualization, or whatever. All right. I can